this is a continuation like sort of like storytelling let me like just you guys what happened after i ended my travel vlog hey guys um how are you guys doing i know it's actually been a while and honestly the past few days have just been so so hectic and um yeah i this is like three days after i arrived and i just had to like today is the first day i had enough strength to even like sit up and talk for too long since i came i've just been kind of sick i don't know if it's something i ate on the plane but i've just not like felt too good and um that's it basically but i i was so tired like the flight especially my last flight from um frankfurt to vancouver that was like the hardest flight i took so it really really messed up my system and i am still kind of recovering honestly all my life i thought like when people say jet lag they were joking or they're like you know making words up but honestly i think like experiencing it firsthand is just different like you won't even know what's doing you you just be like am i sick you don't even know if you're sick am i tired if you feel not too tired but you know you're tired like it's just it's just different so when i when i arrived like from the airport self like as i got down from the plane my whole body everything was spinning me my head my neck my back my legs you will not even know what's doing you like when you come down it will be like you're happy but like you can't even get past your your body as for me oh, that was like my own experience when i came down like my entire body was just like not the same so thank god i had a um, um panadol or parastamol in my bag i just found a restroom like i um, got bottled water or water i think and then i just took the parastamol washed my face like i'm not even sure i filmed this part of the vlog like this is a continuation like sort of like storytelling let me like just you guys what happened after i ended my travel vlog because i think i ended the vlog a bit rushed because i could not i really could not film anymore um i came down from the plane a lot of things were going on at the same time i was so so tired apart from being um tired i also was not feeling well so it was like i'm carrying all these bags and like my neck is about to break <laughs> i mean like let me let me and another thing i should say now is i don't think like traveling without neck pillow is a good idea because like even me with neck pillow my neck felt like it was going to snap i can't imagine like you know if you doze off in the flights you know your neck is like bent or something how you're going to feel after like 10 hours flights but that aside anyway so um my travel vlog kind of ended where i got out of the plane i just filmed my surroundings but what happened after that was that you know um after you get off the flight you can go to the restroom or something get something to eat but ideally you should just proceed to um i think it's there's this i think it's um there's this kiosk where you have to like declare what you brought in i forgot what it's called so there's um when i was in nigeria there was like an app i think it's called the arrive can app or so I, I, maybe i'll put the name on screen but i downloaded it from play store i think my husband told me about it my brother in law too so i downloaded the app and i just like you know um declared everything i will be coming with before i even came into the country into canada i mean so when i got to um when i got to the place to declare the stuff it wasn't too difficult it, it was already clear to me that they had my information like once i scanned like once you place your passport once i place my passport um my details of everything i've already filled just came up so my process was just like two minutes i was done so but if you did not do that um this one i did it's totally fine i don't think you would have any issues 
but to that time um, at that point you now need to like you know say everything you brought with you they'll just ask you a series of questions and you know um i didn't really film this part because as far as not being tired as part i mean apart from not being tired i was um i wasn't really sure what was allowed because there were a lot of like you know um, officials and you don't want to be filming at the airport like let them not come and tell you that oh you're not meant to be filming here or you have to like submit your phone or something i, I just was like trying to be careful so sha i just faced what i was doing and i didn't video anything but yeah after i declared everything i entered the country with um i now went to immigration that's the next place immigration is where you get like your study permits or like your um your work permits that was where i got my work permits or any other um whatever you need to get that's where you're going to get it like you know what you have on your passport is just your visa your actual work permits or your um your study permits or whatever is going to be issued to you when you enter canada so that was where i got my work permits um it was actually a breeze but there was a bit of a queue so let me just say I had to wait like maybe 45 minutes to one hour i can't really tell the time but i spent a little bit of time there because there was um quite a number of people but they were not too much so i heard that like he maybe if i came on a weekend perhaps maybe like saturday when like there are lots of people um my husband said that when he did his own they were like maybe 50 people 70 people 100 people in front of him but for me i would say like maybe 30 40 or less but it went very very fast 30 45 minutes i was already out of there or thereabouts anyway it didn't really take long the whole part of entry questions me i cannot see i can't really give you guys anything on that so they didn't ask me and i'm not even sure they asked anybody there because i saw what was going on so it's like immigration officials are like behind a desk you know they're actually very very nice there was no issue once you like give them your passports and then like after you declare the stuff you brought now there's something they'll give you so you know when you go there they will just ask you for those stuff like it's just your documents basically um yeah like they will cross check and after that they will call you they called me and they gave me my work permits so i didn't really answer any part of entry questions but let it be no no that this is just my case this is my situation um your own might be different and i know it definitely depends on what kind of immigration official that you met there because for me i met really really nice people in fact first thing i should have started with saying in this video was that god i thank you because my journey was smooth i mean i had such a breeze like from nigeria i don't even know the kind of grace i had like i didn't even experience any single like you know issue or like let me say stress per se so i am very very grateful about that so yeah when i when i got in there were no they didn't really ask me any questions so that was just my case so after that i had one last flight from vancouver because i'm not really staying in vancouver but vancouver was my first port of entry so i had to stop there and get my work permits and everything but it depends on where you are coming in from so your first port of entry i think is where you get your um where you get your permits but for me it was vancouver so i had to take another connecting flight to where my husband stays um anyway that one was like an evening flight but they later delayed it that was like you guys that was a bit that was i would say i would say that was like the stressful part of my journey they delayed my flight like twice so the flight was like for eight honestly you guys i ended up entering i ended up arriving around like let me see 1 a.m 1 a.m oh 
I thank God for safe journey. I thank God for my safe trip. It was, it was just like, to God be the glory. <laughs> because I don't even know why they were just like shifting my flight. They were just shifting, shifting. And I didn't even know what the issue was. Because like the flight was for eight initially. And now later ahead it was like moved to I think nine. Later they now moved it to like ten or so. So last last the flight left by let me say ten thirty to eleven. But it was a very short flight, like a thirty minutes um short flight because it's Kelowna. From Vancouver to Kelowna is like not um, not long. It's like let me say you know, Enugu to Abuja in Nigeria, which is like 30, 45 minutes um, flight. So that was just it though. And food items, everything made it with me. I'm just glad. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Basically, my food items made it though. My clothes made it with me. I'm just glad. I'm, I just feel really, really lucky. I might, um, I think I'm just going to film a separate video because since i arrived i've not been feeling my best like i said so i've not unpacked it's been like two days i think i've not really unpacked i've just been resting like when you first come there's this tiredness that is going to you don't even know if you're tired or sick but me i was sick anyway so um i think after this after this um video maybe i'll film another video where i will just like unbox everything like my food items the ones that i made it with because there were quite a number of things that i eventually had to remove in my hotel because of the weight and everything i told you guys but i will now show you guys what i made it with what i made yeah what i made it with that english is correct but <laughs> then um, yeah i'm i don't even know will i do maybe a house store so as for the weather let me conclude this one with the weather <laughs> all those stories that they say that it's cold is cold i thought they were exaggerating no nobody's exaggerating anything it's cold <laughs> me i will not lie to you people as i'm just coming now like it's cold like everywhere is cold I think that was like the first thing I noticed. I came outside, like my nose like started running, my eyes like you know when like it's so cold, like your tears are almost like coming out of your eyes. That was like the situation as I stepped out from the airport. It's actually pretty cold. Like nobody is actually exaggerating anything. There is cold and this is cold but according to my husband and everybody else like they are saying that this is not even winter so i am according to them and everybody like this is not really cold that like, this is just like normal good temperature like it's not too bad so i'm like what's the winter going to be like you get like if this is not cold so what's winter going to be like but for now um i I've already like um I think I've vlogged I have some other vlogs lined up let me not spoil it for you guys I have some other vlogs lined up by the time this video will be going up my second um my second travel vlog should have been up already so I think you guys can go watch that before the main travel vlog and then this one so that's just it guys um yeah, nothing much i will definitely film my unpacking my food stuff items for you guys just to show you guys what i finally brought with me and what you can pack when you're coming anyway yeah that's just it thank you guys for watching um if you enjoyed this video as always like please just subscribe like i have so many good contents coming your way like this period you can just subscribe to my channel because honestly this channel like stay tuned because i have so many things planned for you guys on here thanks for watching and um, you can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as always see you guys bye